them. You mean you taunted them is what you're saying? Yeah, I was going to say, you, you can get yourself in trouble doing stuff like that. Just saying. Uh -huh. <laughs> you did like, did you do like get, this? No, I did this. Somebody can get in your face. <laughs> One <laughs> inch. Okay. Very good. <laughs> Okay, yes, you're turning into Odell Beckham, I see, or Antonio Brown, hopefully not. No. Um, <clears throat> okay, so Matthew 15. We are... The faith of the Canaanite woman, also known as the Syrophoenician woman. And Jesus went away from there. This is talking about the defilement issue and the Pharisees and mm -hmm. the issues where he was in Gennesaret in chapter 14. It says, Jesus went away from there and withdrew to the district of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a Canaanite woman from that region came out and was crying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, son of David. This is Matthew's Gospel. We're talking about Jesus as the son of David, uh, who follows in the kingship of David to bring forth and manifest the kingdom of God. My daughter is severely oppressed by a demon. The Greek would read, has a demon. But he did not answer her a word. He was silent to her. Why was he silent? Because this was his time of visitation specifically for the Jews. And his disciples came and begged him, saying, Send her away, for she is crying out after us. He answered to her, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But she came and knelt before him, saying, Lord, help me. Persistent. And he answered, It is not right to take the children's bread and throw it to the dogs. And she said, Yes, Lord. Yet even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from their master's table. This blew Jesus away. Then Jesus answered, O woman, great is your faith. Be it done for you as you desire. And her daughter was healed instantly. Do you have some thoughts there? No. I was correcting a behavior. Indeed. I just thought maybe you had a thought beyond the correcting of a behavior. Jesus was sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. We know this. But Jesus also responds in faith. We find this. Matthew is the gospel of desire. It's the gospel that encapsulates and pictures the kingdom of God. And every illustration of Jesus in the gospel, there's this kingdom of God, desire, faith in the background. Matthew was a giver. Givers are designed to walk by faith. Higher than all the redemptive gifts, they get the largest return on investment when they walk in faith as opposed to just trusting in their own resources, their own skill, their own capacity to stewardship, the asset and the resources that God has given them. We look at this picture and we see faith. We see a picture of bold faith. Jesus bringing the kingdom has to respond specifically in this instance. She was, she touched his heart in such a way that the compassion manifested. Even outside of what Jesus was assigned to do, he said, okay, we'll do this. For the purpose of illustrating to the twelve, who were all Jews, and to the rest of the Jewish tribe, what the purpose was of the kingdom to respond to faith. In the kingdom, as sons, we build and we fight. We know what we're supposed to build and we know what enemies we're also supposed to fight. We also learn that the principle of faith is radically important. So when Jesus is responding to her, she's responding to the faith that flows out of her and her willingness to Speak to his heart. Even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from the master's table. She says, Yes, I will eat the crumbs. 
I am that willing. I have that much in me to do with you. And I have that much in me that desires all of what you have. Because I know you can do this. She likely went back, like the Gadarene demoniac went back to the region of the Gezerines and saw a whole tribe of her fellow Phoenicians give their hearts to this reality that the kingdom had indeed come. And it wasn't just Baal, but it was Adonai, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Gang, when we look at this illustration, it is good for us and wise for us to look at our own lives and to say, am I walking in faith? Am I walking with bold, uncompromising faith? Am I walking with a faith that is willing to go to whatever end to receive from the Lord? Gang, I bless you with tenacity and skill of pursuit. To pursue him in fullness. To pursue him with everything that you have. And to have skin in the game. And to risk deeply. I bless you each with purpose and life and truth and understanding and wisdom and the kindness of our King. To be full of his righteousness and full of his understanding. And... I bless you with truth. In Jesus' name.